It's a chance for old to meet new again in the hopes of moving forward towards a brighter future as we take a look at what's been going on at the very exciting Virginia Living Museum as a brand new expansion project not only increases the size of the overall campus, but looks to educate and inspire us all to live green. Well, this particular project is the Virginia Living Green Demonstration House. It originally was a butterfly house, so as part of the green design, we took an existing structure, which the only thing left is the cinder block foundation. That's the original foundation of the house. Uh, we tore down the structure to that, saved all the lumber, and have rebuilt things on site so we didn't waste the lumber. And then they're rebuilding a house to show the general public really how to add green features to their home. The idea really came to me when I heard a couple of years ago about a parade of homes on the south side which marketed a green home and many people went there and came back disappointed, not from the home, but for the fact that it looked like every other home when it's all finished. So green features become hidden in the structure when you build a green home so they don't apparently seem any different. So we want to come up with a see-through house so that you can see through the walls, see through the roof and to see how it works. So this is meant to be an inside outlook at a green home. It's been over two years in the works. We wrote a small grant to kick it off and we've had a capital campaign to bring additional funds in. Yeah, you know, the whole concept here is to bring the two buildings together. This is the original building built in 66 and added on too many times. And then we have the newer building in 2004. But the area between was kind of neglected. It was a picnic area and, and just wasn't very attractive. So we're adding it as a just a beautiful outdoor area with gardens, a living greenhouse, an amphitheater. We're adding a waterfall feature in the background. does not look like much at this point because it's halfway done, but uh, that will be a backdrop from the lawn area where you can potentially have a wedding or we can have an Earth Day festival with vendors out front and have this beautiful natural waterfall in the background. Uh, but it is natural in the sense that we're mimicking a waterfall in the western part of Virginia right out here in the middle. But it's really just a, a green space that we were missing before for people and groups to, to get out and enjoy. I mean, Living Green really does connect to wildlife. You may not think it does, uh, but uh, buildings in America produce about 40% of the greenhouse gases. So just your home and our museum itself on a daily basis create almost half the problems that we have. So by living greener, we can make the environment safer for the wildlife. So it is a great, great, you know, mission for us to add this building to, to our exhibits. This will be a permanent exhibit. Well, we plan to open this in June, in late June. Uh, it, its goal is really for the general public to get more interested and be able to follow up on green ideas. Most people only see like a brief article in the newspaper which might mention a living green roof like this, but you can't go anywhere and see a living green roof and nobody's gonna go contact a contractor about building a green roof if they've never seen one in person. So. People get interested in all this stuff and then reach dead ends because there's nowhere to go to, to locate information. So that's the whole purpose of this, is to just create some interest and also provide some avenues that people can go down to find those contractors or vendors or suppliers. Because um, that's a huge gap between wanting to do something and be able to pursue it. Brand new direction for us. We've never had an architectural display or any kind. We focus just on gardens and nature, but uh, this blends in nicely because it helps promote conservation of wildlife through making a more energy efficient building.